Sanford Braun Koufax was known as the man with the golden arm, but everyone called him Sandy. Born in Brooklyn, New York, Koufax attended Lafayette High School, where he was better known for basketball than baseball. But after seeing Koufax pitch, Dodgers scout Al Campanis invited him to Ebbets Field for a tryout. Campanis said, quote, there are two times in my life the hair on my arms has stood up. The first time I saw the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel and the first time I saw Sandy Koufax throw a fastball. He made his MLB debut in 1955 at the tender age of 19. In his first six years, Koufax won fewer games than he lost. But starting in 1961, Koufax enjoyed a five-year stretch as perhaps the most dominating pitcher in the game's history. He won 25 games three times, led the league in strikeouts four times, and won five straight ERA titles. He also pitched no hitters in four consecutive seasons, culminating with a perfect game in 1965. Sandy into his windup. Here's the pitch. Swung out and missed the perfect game. Koufax helped the Dodgers win four World Series titles and was named World Series MVP twice. Koufax is remembered as one of the most outstanding Jewish athletes in American sports. So he garnered national attention when he decided not to pitch game one of the 1965 World Series because it fell on Yom Kippur. Koufax was a seven-time All-Star. He finished with 165 wins and three Cy Young Awards before arthritis in his pitching elbow forced him to retire at the age of 30. I don't regret one minute of the last 12 years, but I think I would regret one year that was too many. After his playing career, Koufax joined NBC as a broadcaster on the Saturday Game of the Week. In 1972, Koufax became the youngest player ever to be elected to the Baseball Hall of Fame at age 36 and 20 days. Later that year, the Dodgers officially retired number 32.